Hello everyone and welcome to our annual Artist in All celebration. I've been asked to offer a prayer and so we take a moment to bow our heads and to thank the Lord even in these difficult times for his loving guidance. And so loving God, we recognize that we are surrounded by so many challenges, so many challenges that face our world, so many difficulties that are a part of our culture. Most of all right now at Misericordia, the experience of COVID has slowed us down in so many ways. The one thing that can't be held back though is the talent of our residents, the gifts that they bring to the world. We can keep them locked up for a while. We can keep them uh, behind doors and protected from all that is outside, but they continue to share their treasures with us. And so we gather this day to celebrate the beautiful artwork that they have created, the gift of the talent you have given them. So many would look at them and only see their disabilities, but Lord, we see the many beautiful abilities that they have also been blessed with, and we celebrate those at this celebration. Loving God, we thank you for all the blessings we do have. As we approach this time of thanksgiving, may we have hearts full of gratitude, even in these most challenging times, for all the blessings that are ours. Continue to watch over all of our families. Continue to bless all of those who are a part of the Misericordia family. We watch over especially those who are our staff, our volunteers, all the people who help to make Misericordia the beautiful place it is. Loving God, your presence has always guided us, and so we ask that it continue to guide us throughout the celebration this evening. Help us always to recognize in each person the gifts that you have created within them. We offer you our prayer and ask your blessing on all whom we care about. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm Lou Manfredini and I'm honored to be your MC for the night. Welcome to the Artist in All Changing Colors brought to you by the Misericordia Siblings Association. And thank you to Father Jack for starting the evening off with a prayer. Now some of you may know me as Mr. Fixit, but tonight you'll know me as the biggest fan of Misericordia and the programs they provide for their residents to create the amazing artwork you're about to see. 
We have much to celebrate tonight, including the continued celebration of the 100th anniversary of Misericordia. You'll see appearances by some special guests and friends of Misericordia, our dedicated artist in all committee, and of course, the reason we're here, the residents and their artwork. We would love to be back in the modern wing of the world-renowned Art Institute of Chicago, but once again, we're bringing you the show virtually. The residents are so excited to show off what they've created for you, and you won't be disappointed. Like every year, for the past 24 years, the residents and their art instructors have gone above and beyond to show off their talents from paintings to ceramics to photography and more. They did not let anything stop them from finishing their pieces. They were determined to give you a show. And what a show it is. Just look at all this beautiful artwork that is displayed behind me. These masterpieces can be yours, but you have to bid. Here's how you can help make sure this crucial part of Misericordia's mission continues. Please get out your laptops, your phones, and go to artistinall.org to register, to bid on artwork, to purchase American Airline raffle tickets, and of course, donate. Once you're registered, you'll get alerts on your phones if you get outbid. You won't want to miss out on owning this amazing artwork. Or maybe you'd like to donate it back to the home. We can help make that happen too. Tonight's event would not happen without the help from our sponsors and viewers like you. We're so grateful to all of our sponsors and especially our two presenting sponsors, the Casson family in memory of their son, Devin, and the Villers family in honor of their sister, Kate Villers. My name is Ned Villers. Kirsten and I would like to thank Ms. Recordia for having us as part of this event for so many years. Most importantly, we'd like to thank the caregivers who devote their lives to the residents of Ms. Recordia. Thank you for helping my sister Kate live a meaningful life. Thank you for understanding her sense of humor, for building her pom-poms, for singing with her, and of course, painting with her. When Kate came to Ms., she was 20 and I was 22. I felt so much guilt knowing that we were sending her away from the people who loved her the most, who would do anything to protect her. But hindsight's easy now. Every family would tell you that Ms. Ricordi is the best place for their son, daughter, brother, or sister. But I've come to understand that the gift of Ms. Ricordi is not just to its residents, but to its families. This fall, we've gone to a lot of kids' soccer games. I think we all especially appreciate how great that is given the last couple of years. Just to be on the sideline cheering or sometimes yelling at our kids. My parents joined for a lot of the games. What a privilege for them that on any weekend day they can pull up a chair and are free to go out and watch their grandkids play. Not as busy parents but as doting grandparents. When I found out 25 years ago that Kate was going to Misericordia, I lacked the perspective to understand the immense gift that we were given. Peace of mind, to go live a life and build a family that I cherish, love, and protect. All while knowing that my sister Kate could live the exact same life, cherished, loved, and protected. So thank you, Ms. Recordia, for helping Kate and our family live the best possible life. Hello and good evening. I'm SIBS Board President, Lisa Paradis, and I'd like to welcome you all to the 24th annual artists and all and our second year doing this virtually. It is truly my favorite event of the year where we get to see our brothers and sisters shine through the artwork that they've worked so hard on with the amazing art teachers at Misericordia throughout the year. Thank you all for joining us. Get your cell phones out and ready to bid and I hope you enjoy the evening that our co-chairs have worked so hard to put together. I now would like to introduce you to co-chairwoman for tonight's event, Sheila Canavan, and her co-chairs, Colleen Dory and Katie Cunningham. Thank you so much for joining and have a great evening. Welcome to the artist and all. My name is Sheila Canavan, sister of Billy Canavan of Halsman Murphy. I am one of the co-chairs for this event, along with my sister Katie and cousin Colleen. We'd like to formally welcome you to our second virtual artist in all. This is the sibling organization's signature event for the year. Although we can't be together in person, 
we have still found a way to celebrate Misericordia's great and talented artists. Once again, we have had to adapt, and now we are back better than ever. That is all thanks to the wonderful staff members who are there day in and day out for our siblings. It is because of you that our residents live a happy and fulfilled life. They, along with our esteemed leadership, who are working constantly to ensure our siblings' well-being, deserve all the gratitude in the world. I would now like to introduce you to my sister, Katie Davey. Welcome, friends and family of Misericordia. This is the night for the residents. It is their night to shine. They have been hard at work creating some of the most unique and exquisite pieces that you may be lucky enough to bring home. There are over 220 pieces of artwork created by 215 Misericordia residents. We are so grateful that the residents were able to rise to the occasion and produce canvas paintings, hand-painted glass pieces, ceramics, jewelry, photography, and fabric. Bidding starts now and will be available till 9.30 p.m. Central. Get your virtual panels out. Bidding is live. Woo! Don't worry, the residents' artwork will be on your screen shortly. We'll get to appreciate their talent momentarily. First, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to our dedicated sponsors who have made this event possible and continue to make a positive impact on the Misericordia community. Your support is vital to the continued success of Misericordia. We are so appreciative and cannot thank you enough. The fact that we are able to provide care for over 600 residents is directly because of your support. Thank you again for making us Misericordia strong. On behalf of Katie, Colleen, and myself, I'd like to thank the Artist Small Committee, the Art Department for putting this all together, and all of you for making this a wonderful night. Keep getting those bids in, and welcome, welcome to, to the 2021, 2021 Artist and All. Good evening, dear friends. Tonight, as we celebrate our 24th anniversary of the Artists in All, I am once again filled with overwhelming gratitude. Each year, we depend on our sponsors to support this unique program, and each year, they never fail to disappoint. This year's presenting sponsors and honorary chairs, the Casson family and the Villers family, have exceeded all expectations. They, along with all of our generous sponsors, make this phenomenal event a reality. As many of you know, the Artists in All is our most resident-centered event, and it fills my heart with joy to showcase our talented artists. Tonight, I am wearing Amy's beaded necklace and bracelet and standing next to Mackenzie's piece, creatively titled Mr. Lobster. They are so excited about their creations, each in their own way, with the assistance of their dedicated art therapists and teachers have brought their being to life on canvas, glass, fabric, photography, beading, and ceramic. The partnership that goes into each art piece is so much more than just the production of an auction item. It is born of love created by compassionate and caring mentors and their desire to make each individual artist a star. It is indeed a recipe for joyful success. You will hear more from our amazing art director, Julie O'Sullivan. Julie is truly devoted to this program and steadfast in her quest for excellence. I am moved to tears by Julie's beautiful images of our proud and joyful artists. Remember, all of this artwork was produced during very challenging times. COVID and the Delta variant once again prohibited full art classes and of course forced us to present to you virtually here tonight. Deeply saddened but unthwarted, Julie and the team created our very own art gallery here on campus to bring you the greatest show ever. As founder of the sibling organization in 1993, I continue to walk this journey with hundreds and hundreds of outstanding brothers and sisters of our residents. Like their parents, they are genuinely inspired by all of our wonderful staff that love and care
for their family members. Each year, this event involves devoted siblings who want to make a difference in their brothers and sisters' lives. They say yes to leadership roles. This year, I personally want to acknowledge and sincerely thank our president, Lisa Paradis, and of course, our Artisanal Chair, Sheila Canavan. Sheila really got creative this year and recruited co-chairs Colleen Dobry and Katie Cunningham. How blessed we are to have this amazing team leading us this year. Grateful thanks to our amazing graphic designers, Bill Meyer and Becky Lee. Together, they used their talents to create this year's incredible program book, invitation, and beautiful artist in all website. Equally devoted to this year's program is our development support team at Misericordia. Sincere gratitude to Kathy, Grace, Anne, Mike, Tina, and Michael for their countless hours of expertise and service. To Sister Rosemary and her executive team, our dedicated administrators and directors, and to all of our staff who have kept our residents healthy and hopeful during this ongoing health crisis. I thank you most sincerely. Last but not least, our resident artist and my extended family, the true stars of tonight's program. I am blessed to call you friends, and I thank you with a very grateful heart. Everybody, I'm Bill Meyer, hanging out with my pal Vince here. I've been a Misericordia sibling for more than 24 years, but more importantly, a rabid fan of the artist and all, empowerment through art. How great is it to celebrate more than 200 of our talented sibling artists every year by showcasing their creativity and artwork to the world Imagine how our artists' self-confidence and pride skyrocket with this awesome opportunity. It's the very same exhilaration all artists experience when their work is admired and sought by others. Now that's real empowerment. And how valuable is the expert assistance by Misericordia's dedicated, caring staff of art instructors and mentors? These pros develop the artist's innate talents to produce original and interpretive paintings, three-dimensional artwork, ceramics, glass and fabric objects of art, 
jewelry, and photography. Program benefits to our artists are truly revealing. Here's a sense of some of their feedback. I like being really creative and learning new skills. Painting makes me feel good and I can express my feelings. I like it when people look at my paintings and they say, good job. I love being in the artist and all because I love showing my artwork and being proud of myself. How great is that? So thank you for your interest and support of the artist and all. Now get ready to place your bids. I'm gonna go place mine now. What a great show we've had so far. You were introduced to our siblings board president, Lisa Paradis, and co-chairs of the evening, Sheila Canavan, along with Colleen Dobry and Kathleen Cunningham. And of course, Lois Gates, founder of the Siblings Organization. You've seen just a glimpse of how these programs are making a difference in the lives of the residents of Misericordia. You also have seen the residents from the Macaulay Skilled Nursing Residence Art Program. These paintings were created using adaptive equipment and hand-over-hand -hand techniques. The staff take the time to work with the residents and meet their needs. This is why these programs are so important. You can bid and donate now to ensure that these programs continue into the future. One staff from Macaulay said, Kevin loves that art is another opportunity to socialize with his friends and Matt's smile is larger than life when he paints. Don't forget, you can bid on the incredible paintings you saw created by the residents of Macaulay. Visit artistsandall.org to register and bid. You don't want to miss your opportunity, folks. Bidding ends at 9.30 tonight, so you won't want to delay. Bidding often is the best way to ensure you'll get the artwork you want to have in your home or office. How are you going to get your artwork once you've outbid everyone? Well, that's easy. A Misericordia representative will be in touch with you to determine the best way for you to retrieve your new masterpiece. Have you scrolled through the whole auction page yet? Just like at the Art Institute, we have a boutique for you to purchase products with resident artwork on it. Coming up, you'll see more of our resident artists showing off their artwork on the red carpet and of course, a message from our very own Sister Rosemary, who celebrated 52 years as Executive Director of Misericordia this past year.
Good evening, everyone. If you tuned in last year, you knew that while in quarantine, I was working on my painting skills, and I was able to produce an exact copy of the Mona Lisa. This year, while still in quarantine, I was able to tackle a much bigger project, the Michelangelo Sistine Chapel. And I am so happy to share my new art piece with you. I think it's coming along nicely, don't you? Although we are disappointed that we are not able to be together again in the beautiful modern wing of the Art Institute of Chicago, we still have a deep sense of gratitude and awe for our resident artists and staff who have been able to create such beautiful works of art despite these challenging times. Our sibling association, the Artists in All Committee, and many members of the development team, under the leadership of our amazing Lois Gates, have worked tirelessly to ensure that the Artists in All remains Misericordia's most resident-centered event. Our residents truly are the stars of the show with their incredible artwork. Not only is this a testament to the hard work of our residents, but also to the dedication of our wonderful staff. Our creative and dedicated art instructors have gone above and beyond, taken on major roles to support Misericordia residentially during the past 18 months so that the residents could safely continue their programming. I believe you will agree the results speak for themselves. In their loving ways, the residents are grateful and they know how to accept what is and make the best of it. I would be remiss if I did not recognize and express our most sincere gratitude to our siblings, especially Lois Gates, our sibling association founder, and our art director, Julie O'Sullivan. This event would not be possible without their loving dedication and determination in making this a reality. A special thanks to our 2021 Artists in All event committee. Under the leadership of President Lisa, alongside event chair Sheila, as well as co-chairs Colleen and Katie. Lastly, this event would not have been possible without the amazing generosity of our 2021 presenting sponsors and honorary chairs. We sincerely thank them, our dear friends, the Casson family and Villar family, whom we recognize in this event. Thank you for joining us for this special and unique evening in our 100th anniversary year. What a special milestone this is for us. There is no question that we would not be the Misericordia you see today without the support of our entire Misericordia community. You give us confidence to move forward with hope as we enter our next hundred years of providing the highest quality of care to God's most vulnerable loved ones. God's blessings on you and yours. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts.
Hi everyone, I'm Julie O'Sullivan, the Director of Misericordia's Art Department. I wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to all of the art instructors. They worked so hard to make this event happen for the residents. I wish everyone could see a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes action that takes place to create each and every piece. The staff have an unbelievable ability to bring out literally the artist in all of us. They really get to know each resident, from their favorite color to their favorite TV show, sports team, and even their favorite foods. This allows them to help the residents decide what their next art piece will be. When you scroll through the bidding site, you will know what I mean. We have artwork depicting beautiful landscapes, abstract designs, favorite spots around Chicago, and even a painting of a can of Diet Coke. Some of our residents love to paint, and others like to express their talents with different art mediums. And some really like to get their hands dirty. So please do not miss the amazing pieces of ceramics, photography, hand-painted scarves, and beadwork. They really make sure there is something for everyone. Misericordia is blessed to have such an amazing group of trained artists on our staff. Creating the artist in all is truly a year-long process, and this event would not be what it is without their expertise. So a huge thanks goes to Cindy, Christine, Miles, Allison, Melissa, Owen, Sarah W., Jacob, Sarah P., Guy, and Amy. The Misericordia siblings, parents, development office, and of course, the residents are so grateful. Thank you to all the administrators, directors, supervisors, cues, and direct support professionals who also help behind the scenes to make this all happen. We are able to stay Misericordia strong because of all of you. I also wanted to take a moment to thank our MC for the night, Lou Manfredini. Lou, what would we do without you? You've literally been there for us for every single Misericordia virtual event. We cannot thank you enough for allowing us to claim you as our own and reap the benefits of your time and amazing talents. Also, a big shout out to Paul Davey and everyone at Practical Angle Framing. They do such amazing work year after year and this year, under the circumstance, is no exception. And lastly, thank you to everyone who is with us tonight. Please make sure you bid and have a great evening. Thank you, Sister Rosemary, as always, for your inspiring words. I agree that Ms. Recordia's staff has gone above and beyond to ensure the residents are still leading happy, healthy, and active lives. You can see this firsthand tonight, how hard the art instructors worked in order to help the residents create and present this wonderful exhibit to you. 
Now you've seen how unbelievable the art program is at Misericordia. The staff here set up the Jean Marie Ryan Center to resemble the Art Institute so the residents could still enjoy their artwork. The residents were invited to visit the gallery with their cohorts to not only see their artwork on display, but also their friends' artwork as well. One resident said, I'm impressed that I have art in the show. I guess I'm a pretty good artist. <laughs> this also shows you the level of compassion and dedication the staff at Misericordia have for the residents. They didn't want to disappoint. They were determined to make sure the residents had their well-deserved day on the red carpet. And this is what Misericordia is all about, providing enriching opportunities for the residents to have the highest quality of care and lead happy lives. When you're checking out the paintings, don't overlook the multimedia pieces. So much is created in ceramic, glass, fabric, beading, and photography. To bid on these items now, just go to artistinall.org. Don't forget, you can also donate and purchase American Airline raffle tickets. Thanks to Misericordia and its art instruction, our brother Mark discovered he had a passion and a talent for creating beautiful art in acrylics, drawings, and photographs. He's had a piece in the Artist in All every year for many, many years, and we, his brothers and sisters, could not be prouder of him and the work that he creates. We're grateful to Misericordia for making this program possible for Mark and all of his colleagues and friends. We're grateful to you for supporting Art at Misericordia and the Artist in All. Traditionally, each year, we recognize at this event all of our residents with these very special words. The most visible creators I know of are those artists whose medium is life itself. 
the ones who express the inexpressible without brush, hammer, clay, or guitar. They neither paint nor sculpt. Their medium is being. Whatever their present touches has increased life. They see and don't have to draw. They are the artists of being alive. This anonymous quote is dedicated to all of the residents at Misericordia who could not be here tonight, but who are simply artists of being. Thank you. We're now getting close to the end of our program, and you've not only seen the residents in action, but you've also heard from our guests why the art program is so important for the residents to have in their everyday lives. When asked why they like art or how art makes them feel, some of the residents said, art makes me feel calm. When I'm in art and I paint, I feel happy. Art makes me feel excellent. And my paintings look great in the show. Art, well, it's just my thing. I love it. Now behind me are even more pieces of artwork that you can bid on. Remember, the auction closes at 9.30 p.m. sharp. No second chances. You have to continue to bid in order to win your piece of artwork. Now, if you've already registered, you should be receiving text messages if you've been outbid. And if you've not registered, well, there's still time. Just go to artistinall.org to bid, donate, and purchase boutique items and, of course, raffle tickets. We are so grateful to each and every one of you. The Artists in All would not be the success that it is without the help from all of our sponsors and all of you. We are so grateful to everyone who sponsored tonight's virtual Artists in All Changing Colors. Stay tuned as we see more from the resident artists and thank our sponsors. I love art and artists and all. I love art. I love art. I love being an art. I love it. Thank you for our sponsors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you again to all of our sponsors. I also want to thank the Misericordia Art Instructors for their talent and dedication to the residents all year long. You are truly amazing. The video, I am an artist, showed you how crucial these programs are to the residents. The art instructors did not give up trying to create an environment of creativity through these past 18 months. And you've seen throughout the night how the art program is an important part of their daily lives. This is your last reminder to bid and purchase boutique items and buy American Airline raffle tickets, which by the way, is worth 50,000 Advantage miles. Imagine the places you could go. The auction and raffle sales end tonight at 9.30 p.m. sharp. Don't forget, after you win your masterpiece, a Misericordia representative will be in touch with you to help you retrieve your artwork. Thank you to everyone who attended tonight's virtual Artists in All. Let's all really hope that we can gather together with the residents next year. Until then, stay safe and healthy, happy and hopeful. Have a great night, everyone, and keep bidding.